Hey everyone and welcome back. This is just going to be a short video as an introduction to this new playlist where we'll be creating an endless runner from scratch in the Unreal Engine. By the end of the playlist you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. It's going to be a very simplistic endless runner where you control a cube and you've got some set lanes for the movement so we're not going to have that free movement uh, just because this isn't something I've seen done elsewhere before so I figured that would be quite useful. And then if you get to a point where you hit an obstacle then you're going to have the end screen so we've got a, a kind of full game loop going on here. Now the idea behind this is that I've previously done a tutorial which was kind of aimed to show a bridge between coming from Unity to the Unreal Engine using an existing tutorial series that was made by Brackies in Unity and showing how the same thing could be done in Unreal so that you can get a fairly decent like-for-like -like comparison of the approaches you take. Now from those videos people did keep asking if I could turn that into an endless runner and it really wasn't set up in a very logical way to be used as an endless runner. It's definitely possible but it wasn't a very good approach from the start to be an endless runner. It was very much meant to be a challenge based game where you'd make set levels with different patterns which would only last for X amount of time. So I did look into the possibility of creating a whole new playlist from the start which is what I've decided is going to be the best approach and generally I don't like to cover topics that other people have done too often. Small one or two video things are fine, there can always be some overlap, but generally if there's a large existing projects available I tend to kind of direct people to those. Now one thing I've noticed when I have researched into this type of thing and I don't want to uh, call people out, uh, but there have been some questioning approaches made in certain Endless Runner or Infinite Runner style games in Unreal uh, with some just generally bad object oriented or completely not object oriented programming going on uh, where things like tiles are being spawned from the character class and in this kind of engine in this kind of language setup the character shouldn't know anything about which tiles are being spawned where you, you just need to kind of segregate that stuff out so the other thing that I wanted to mention is in this playlist it may end up seeming a little bit longer than other tutorials that you may find on endless runners but that's because I'm going to try and separate things out and really explain what classes should be created to do and keeping them just for that task. So we're going to have things like what we've got here is a level manager. So the level manager is the thing which is going to be saying how many lanes there should be to move between, the speed at which the thing should be moving, the, the parts of the level which are the floors will be getting spawned from the level manager not the character class for an example. Uh, and the other thing that I always see done on the existing content is that it tends to take a third person character, make them run forward and then spawn the floors ahead of them. Now generally in every other case I've seen, games like Temple Run and a lot of those endless runners, everything is actually static apart from the world. The, the world usually runs towards the player just because that stops you getting any kind of weird float at range values um, and discrepancies between how far you should be moving. So we're going to take that approach. So just to show what I mean by this, if I press play quickly and then eject, we can see that if I pause, you might be able to tell that the player is actually stayed exactly where he is. So the Z axis is where he started. And then if we resume this, you can see it's actually the obstacles and the world which is moving towards the player. Now with the right effects, like the particle effects that I add in, things like that you really can't tell it's it can be quite hard to tell and as you've seen in some of the mobile games like I mentioned a lot of those a high majority of those are going to be the way that we're going to be setting this up with the world moving towards the player and it really doesn't show and it does make things a little bit easier as well so if you imagine using the third person template you've got all of the animations going in accounting for how fast the player is moving the direction they're facing things like that in this approach we're kind of faking it but it's going to make it a lot easier if you wanted to adapt this into something with animations. So then all you need to worry about is accelerating the speed of the player's animation up to a certain point, and then they're either running, jumping, or in some kind of side animation, depending on the kind of game you're going for. So hopefully this will provide a kind of insight into different ways to create an endless runner in the Unreal Engine that I haven't seen yet to try and keep this a little bit unique in itself. Uh, but we're also going to be doing things like having uh, obstacle spawners, floor spawners. So we're going to be very particular on what is responsible for spawning and managing certain parts and aspects of the game, which just makes it a whole lot more reusable. It means that you can take these things out of this project and potentially dump it into any other project and still reuse it. Again, if this is the kind of thing you're looking for, hopefully that's going to be useful just to see a kind of more controlled way of approaching a larger project. But like I mentioned, if you just wanted something really quick and to get the, the work done in, in the smallest amount of episodes as possible, then this might not be the playlist for you. 
With that said though, I'm going to leave this video here. Like I mentioned, not going to be doing anything in this video, just a quick introduction so you can see what you're going to get by the end of this and uh, the differences in this playlist. So the next video will be actually setting the groundwork for our project, should be coming very, very shortly. As always though, if you do enjoy the videos, or find these useful, then please do leave a like and share the video around, that really helps. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel. And as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.